Choose the best block size for your cache among the choices given. Assume integers and pointers are four bytes. And rem recall that what we're trying to do is to minimize the number of cache misses our code experiences. So let's take a look, first of all, at the structure that has been defined for us right here. Okay, this is a structure that has a value, a pointer to a next element, and also a car star. So each structure in memory is going to look approximately like this. We begin with value here, and that's four bytes. And we also have a pointer next, and that's here. And finally, we have a car star name, which is this. And name actually is also four bytes. So each of these elements is four bytes, okay? The value is four bytes because it's an integer, and next and name are four bytes each because they are both pointers. Now let's take a look at what the code is actually doing. We begin with an integer value sum, which has the value zero, and we have a pointer called cur that is pointing to a list head. So we can assume that somewhere in memory there is a linked list. The head of the list is located in memory here, and we can assume that we have a value here. Let's say that the value is 10. We have a next pointer, and that's pointing to some next element of the linked list. And here we have a pointer to the name. The next element of the list has a similar structure. A value, maybe the value is seven, a pointer to the next element, and so forth. Notice that a linked list does not always have all of its elements contiguous in memory. An array has all of its elements next to each other, whereas a linked list could be jumping around memory. In fact, you could have a future element that could actually be pointing back to an earlier address in memory. Now what the code is doing is traversing the linked list and summing up all of the values. So to begin with, the sum is zero. And after the first iteration of the loop, the sum has the value 10. Now we get to the actual question that's being asked. What is the best block size for the cache? So since in all of these cases we are grabbing data sizes that are four bytes, so the value and the next are four bytes each, I'm going to immediately cross out one byte as a reasonable size for a block size because we wouldn't want to be asking for four bytes and then having to take up four elements in the cache for these four bytes. That just doesn't really make sense with the granularity. Only if you were exclusively operating on characters that were never contiguous in memory would a one byte block size make sense. And that's certainly not what we're doing here. So let's consider answer B. What if our block size were four bytes? Well, we would reach this first instruction in the loop and we would have a cache miss. And we would take the four bytes in memory here and we would bring them into a cache. Now, when we encounter the next instruction, asking for cur next, we would also incur a miss and we would then have to bring these four bytes into the block, into the cache. So you'll notice that having a four byte block size in no way offers a nice prefetching effect for you. You missed when you tried to access value and you missed again when you tried to access next. If, however, the block size had been eight bytes, then when we brought in value, we would have also brought in next. By asking for four bytes, we actually get eight. So here in our cache, we would have a single block and the first four bytes would be the value, and the second four bytes would be the next pointer. And that would mean that we would have a miss here, followed by a hit here for every iteration of the for loop. So eight bytes is looking pretty good. And if eight bytes is good, is 16 bytes even better? Well, what would a 16 byte block size bring in for us? It would actually bring in not only value next, but name and whatever mystery four bytes of data live after name in memory. And now we have to look at the code we have here and ask ourselves, do we even need name? 
And do we even know what these four bytes are after name? We don't. So in this case, making the block size bigger and bigger starts to have almost no return for us. In fact, we would just be bringing in pieces of data that according to this code are not even necessary. So the answer to the question here is C, eight bytes, because eight bytes minimizes the number of misses we have without bringing in a whole bunch of extra data that wouldn't give us any benefit.